You think I'm trying to hook Ryan? He protected you from the bad guy, gave you a place to live, a job, lots of one-on-one -on -one I'm, I'm grateful to Ryan, but that you doesn't... You know what? The bad guy is gone. He's dead. The crisis is over. What's wrong with a nice little thank you on a postcard from another town? Instead, you want to stick around and reel Ryan in. I'm not interested in snagging... You know what? The guys slayed the dragon for you, okay? I mean, you, now you have to have him in your bed, too? Mm, technically, his brother took care of my dragon. I am sick to death of damsels in distress using their troubles to go after the men who rescue them. Are we talking about Ryan and me? Or Dixie and your husband? Any idea when my lawyer will be here? Soon. Soon, huh? <laughs> I know you couldn't stay away. Everybody wants to know if I put Madden in that box. And now you want to put the last nail in my coffin. Zach's trial starts today. And the world is going to pig out on what a lying, cheating, murdering menace to society he is. And he did it to help someone. He didn't know how to say no. Now he's facing a murder rap and a life sentence. So you can see why I'm really tired of women screaming SOS and then taking down the men who helped them. You um, really want to pick a fight right now, sir? Can I have some time alone with my friend, please? I'll be right outside. Wouldn't expect anything less. Oh, Ryan, you ready for your surprise testimony? The disc that has Madden's last words on it that you found in someone's closet? I'm not testifying, sir. Why not? Me out of the way, you and Kendall together, if you're not already. And isn't that why you're here? If I wanted you gone, I would have given the disc to the cops a long time ago, Zach. But you know what I did instead of that? I planted it on JR, another suspect. Take a little bit of the light off of you. And on top of that, I've been playing along with your alibi. I've been covering your ass, Zach, when you've been nothing but an ass to Kendall and to me. But why? Why would I? And I know it means more face time with you and Kendall, but you blow my alibi and I'm gone for good. You want to know why? Because I can't forget that Spike wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. That you fought for him and for Kendall in the hospital. And when you thought there was a chance that Spike might be men's, you got Kendall through that. Gratitude. Okay, you're welcome. You go to prison? I did everything I could, Zach. You see, clear conscience. If something happens between Kendall and I <laughs> after that, well, then you know. Now, that makes sense. That makes sense to me. You go down. It's not on my head. You see, I made that mistake before. Now, there is only one person that can come between you and Kendall, and that's you. Me, huh? So, if I get off, can I have her back? Ryan's the best. He's gotten me through a lot of rough stuff. He's laughed with me. He, he pours a mean shot. But I'm not in love with him. Even if I was ready to jump back on the, on the love wagon, I certainly wouldn't go after a guy who's totally hooked on another woman. Why not? Hasn't stopped anyone else from helping themselves. You should go. Get a front row seat before the courtroom fills up. Now, first, I'm going to answer your question. I'm not really sure why you need my permission here, but I guess if you get out of this mess, Kendall wants you back. You know, that's uh, her call. Great. Settled. Now, yeah. why are you here? I'm here because you have Kendall walking around on hot coals for you. She's living your alibi for you and for Dixie, all right? She's hoping that you're innocent because you say so. Unfortunately, she's afraid that you're guilty because of all the evidence. So she's hanging on by a breath here, Zach. The very last thing that she needs is Dixie in her face. I've been in a jail cell, a little bit out of the loop, so what happened? Just tell Dixie not to pull any more stunts like she did last night, okay, Zach? Kendall has been nothing but loyal to you. 
Zach's little girlfriend has done everything she can to steal him from me. I was in a coma, completely helpless. That didn't stop her. And now she's still working it. I'm not Dixie Martin. Right, but you come across as sweet, kind, and gentle. Those are all the traits that little Dixie had that made her Pine Valley's patron saint. And if she can turn into a little bitch and go after Zach, anyone could. Okay, here's the problem. I have eyes. I see the way Ryan feels about you every time you're in a room together. He loves you. He loves Spike. And if there's any way the three, three of you could be a real family, I would be the first one to congratulate you. Okay, well, before you throw a party, I'm still married to Zach. Yeah, and see, that's something that I can't quite figure out. I mean, maybe I'm overly sensitive to dangerous husbands and all, but if Zach really tortured and killed that doctor, how can you want him living under the same roof as your son? Zach would never hurt Spike or me or anyone else. Where the hell do you get off? You don't even know him. You're just like everyone else. You go from zero to guilty. You still love your husband, don't you? I, uh, I was really hoping you would decide that your future was with Ryan. I'm sorry. has put everything into protecting you, Zach. Why don't you return the favor? What the hell did Dixie do to her? Just put a leash on her, Zach. Hey. Hi. What's going on with Ryan? It's nothing. I was trying to help you. Maybe I miscalculated a little bit. Anyway, it's over. No, it's not. What are you working on? The Christmas gift with purchase campaign. Hmm. Well, if you're done playing with your dollies, the trial starts soon, and you probably shouldn't go alone. Why don't you let me take you? Do you actually think I'm going? What, do you think I'm crazy? Let's hear it. <laughs> what happened? I went by Kendall's house because I think she's cheating on you. I think you trust her too much, and I thought that if you had some You proof... spied on her? How'd you do that? Crawl under her bed and wait for the action to start? She said she didn't want you anymore. That's what she said. What did you say? Nothing but the truth. What did you say? Listen, let me ask you a question. Where is Kendall right now? Is she here? Is she comforting you? Is she supporting Enough. you? No. Look, you can believe in Kendall's loyalty all you want, but when I left that place, Ryan was still there. And from where I was standing, he wasn't going anywhere. Zach has made it very clear how he feels about me, and the feeling is mutual. I'm done with him. Because mm -hmm. you're smart now. You're an adult. Where are you going? You pain junkie? No, I owe it to Greg. He may not have been my biological father. He may have been a freak, but he did raise me. It's my last obligation to him. It's the last chapter for both of us. Well, I hope so. Well, listen, the trial might be able to help you, too. It might actually give you a chance to see Zach Slater who he really is. I know who Zach is. I know Kendall better than you ever will. I know her heart and I know what she's capable of. You... Stop spying on her. Do you realize that you are defending a woman who doesn't trust you, who doesn't believe Stop in you? Stop explaining my wife to me. What I need from you is to stay away from her. Do you understand me? When I came back to town, I was hated. I was despised and judged. 
until I met you. And you were the only person here who didn't judge me. You helped me without asking for anything in return. You are a good, kind, honorable man. And I'm sorry, okay? I know what I did was wrong. But it is very difficult to watch you break your heart over Kendall over and over again. Well, you can't stop that. No matter what you do. There's no way I'm going to sit in that courtroom and have my heart stomped on all over again. I've done that before, and I, I completely draw the line at public humiliation. If you want to go and get some sort of closure, I understand. I got mine right between the eyes last time I saw my husband. I don't need to see Zach ever again. This is your last chance. Are you sure you don't want to come? I'm positive. You're still in love with him. You're still his wife. Zach told me to go to Ryan. Does that sound like a man who still wants his wife by his side? Zach doesn't care if I'm there or not. I choose not. Do you still love Kendall? Yes, I do. I'm where I'm supposed to be. Work. Zack Slater doesn't concern me anymore. This is gonna be horrible. With the physical evidence found in her car and the coffin and the eyewitness testimony, they're as good as convicted. Thanks. Hey, Ryan, you gotta do me a big favor. Take your good luck speech and stuff it. Because I know you're just waiting for me to be sentenced so you can move in on my wife. Okay. There's a trial. Zach and Dixie are the defendants. It doesn't mean that we just stop doing what we need to do, like our job. Our, our company, we, we have to figure out the ho the holiday gift packaging and, and, and the oh, Christmas wrap. We have to no, ask no, 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 don't do it, it. Don't do sign. You cannot get out of work, okay? You can't. Life goes on. While Zach's fighting for his? She, she, she didn't mean that. She's in shock. No, I do mean that. I'm not some traumatized woman who doesn't know what she's saying or how she feels. Okay, so... Do these rings confuse you? Is that what it is? Well, they're habit, all right? It's not out of sentiment. Is that clear enough? Clear enough? Okay, all right, well. Oh, Kendall. Zach did not care about our marriage. He didn't care about me. He was too busy worrying about his savior complex, trying to be a hero for Dixie. You know what? Consider this an official memo. Zack Slater is not a subject for discussion in this office. I don't want to hear about the trial. I don't want to hear what your thoughts and opinions are. Do not even say his name. Zack Slater. I didn't hear the memo. Honey, uh, fish the rings out of uh, the trash and come on over here. You can't fire me, darling. So what, what are you waiting for? 
I'm on Spike and Kendall's side, Zach, which doesn't necessarily mean I want to see you convicted. That might mean more trouble for everybody. But you know what? You are right about one thing. I do want her, just not by default. Put them on, darling, and go on to where you should be, the court. I don't want to be there. I warned them. Zach? About what? Well, more often than not, a good-looking face hides a very, very strong mind. Now, Zach did not bury that doctor. So go on. Off you go to the court. Well, what makes you so sure that he didn't do it? Done. Zach told me. And you're taking it on blind faith? <laughs> blind faith, no, no. No, I know Zach and what's deep inside him. So do you. I thought I did. And Greg Madden's murder changed everything. Didn't change your feeling for Zach. It's still there, isn't it? Zach did it. He did it for Dixie. They have evidence. They have tangible evidence. And Tad Martin saw them. Hey, give me these. physical evidence implicating both of the defendants. You will hear eyewitness testimony that cannot be refuted. Will it be enough for a guilty verdict? Absolutely. Did Ms. Martin and Mr. Slater have motive to want to pressure Greg Madden into giving them information? Yes. Did they commit this heinous crime? I don't believe they did. Now, the district attorney, Mr. Summerhill, talked to you about physical evidence. I will show you that not only is that evidence circumstantial, it's inconsequential. A fingerprint on a piece of wood that could have been obtained from any number of sites that Mr. Slater has frequented. The police can't tell you where that wood was found or even when. He also will make a monumental case of some traces of blood and a few fibers found in a rental car owned by Mr. Slater's casino. Yes, Miss Martin drove that vehicle. Since January 2005, when the vehicle was first purchased by Mr. Slater's casino hotel. What else did he say he had? Uh, eyewitness testimony. The word of a jealous man who wanted revenge against his ex-wife and her lover. When Dixie Martin returned to Pine Valley, her former husband, Tad Martin, had high hopes of rekindling their lost love. And when he discovered that that was impossible, that the love of his life had been tricked into giving away their child, Well, we all know that there is a very thin line between love and hate. Was the testimony you've given here today the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Everything I said, all of it is the truth. Liar! His testimony, every word of it has been a lie. 
and I can prove it. You're lying, Dad. I have proof. And if you want to win back even a shred of the respect that I have for you, you will admit that your testimony is false. Dixie is innocent. Don't do this, James. You have to be kidding me. You're not even going to try to make this right? Well, then I have no choice. Objection, Your Honor. This is ludicrous. Your Honor, if James Martin has evidence that his father's testimony is fabricated, I believe in the interest of justice, this court should hear that evidence. Order. Bailiff Evans is going to take you back to the jury assembly room until I can sort this out with the attorneys. Counsel, approach the bench. I really hate this. Jamie is so upset with his father, and JR is angry. Don't question anything. Just hang in there. I'm trying to. go talk to Jamie right now and make him tell me what he knows. And I don't care if he has a problem whoa, with it or not. Whoa. He may not know anything, Kendall. I mean, come on, last night he was grasping at straws. Do you really think he came up with something that explosive between then and now? Do you? And on top of that, Kendall, there's something else you're forgetting. Mm. All right. Madden's recording. The recording that Zach has admitted was his. Yeah, I know, and Jamie doesn't know anything about it. And Jamie also doesn't know that the alibi is a crock, but we do. Okay. No, you're right. Well, at least one of us has a straight head. Like, I know it's not what you want to hear, and I know you want to believe that Ted's lying through his teeth and that Zach's innocent. Well, I can't even go there, Ryan. It'll only hurt worse to when, when Zach gets convicted and taken away. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm not, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have hope. I mean, believe me, I'm going to be here no matter how this plays out, I'm just saying, don't jump the gun. But if I took Tad's word, and he's lying, and I didn't believe Zach, and he's telling the truth, Scotty, are you ready to present your case for the defense? Yes, Your Honor. The defense would like to call Jimmy Valens. When did the defendants check into your motel? About 9.30 p.m. I know because it's my regular poker night. We got started about 20 minutes after Mr. Slater paid for their room. Have you ever gambled at Mr. Slater's casino? I don't make enough money to throw it away. Is that a no, Mr. Val? The only gambling I do is poker. And that's because I know I can beat the loser I play with. <laughs> I am terribly sorry for Tad Martin's disappointments. But I am also appalled that the state would use all of us allowing him to take out his vendetta. Now, you have heard the testimony. And I believe that you must, in all good conscience, because you are reasonable people, find these defendants not guilty. Don't be fooled by Ms. Cudahy's histrionics. The state proved its case against the defendants, not just with the testimony of Tad Martin, which some unidentified person attempted to undermine using a doctored video. The physical evidence alone proves their guilt. Zack Slater slipped up and left a fingerprint inside the coffin. Zack could walk dead. away from this. Please let him get off. I couldn't take him being locked up, not even if he's guilty. Whatever Livia said, Zack still could be guilty. He had that disc. 
The disc, the recording of Madden in the casket. He must be guilty. Well, guilt or not, do we have any future together? Is our marriage over? Miss Cuddy, you have witnesses. But fortunately, so beautiful. Slip up. Why couldn't you believe me? Has she fallen for Lavery again? Will I be free to fight for her? Maybe we had our chance and blew it. Maybe there's no going back. If she'd only have faith, if she'd give me that much, we might make it. You've come together to listen to this case, weigh the evidence, and do your duty to the people of this state. Your way is clear. You must find the defendants guilty as charged. Do we have a chance? Do we have a chance? Ask any questions you like about points of law. All rise. Take me home. Ryan? The jury's back. In the matter of the people versus Ms. Dixie Martin and Mr. Zach Slater, how do you find on the first count, the count of murder in the first degree? We find the defendants not guilty. And the count of murder in the second degree? Not guilty. 
count of murder in the third degree? Not guilty. On the count of manslaughter? Not guilty. On the count of kidnapping, how do you find? Not guilty. We are grateful to you for doing your duty as citizens of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We thank you for your time and your attention to this case. Court is dismissed. All rise. So it's over. Oh, God. Thank you so much.